Hey guys, it's T-Row. Welcome to today's episode of So Unique People. And I have the pleasure of speaking with Philly's own Wiz Gann. Hi, how are you today? I am doing great. You caught me on the flight. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so first of all, before we get to what it is that he does, he looks absolutely fabulous. I haven't seen him in a few years. So when I saw him, I was like, oh wow, you look good. So why don't you tell us why you look so good? Uh, I just lost 54 pounds. Oh, wow. No no, no, no disrespect to Herbalife or none of them, but no Herbalife. <laughs> that. All natural. Congratulations. I just cut sugar out of my diet and uh, just exercising. I do, I do 30,000 steps a day. Oh, wow. So I'll well, to walk everywhere. That's good. Well, it's always good to stay healthy. So, okay, guys, so Wiz has an extensive resume. He's a writer. He's an entertainer. So while we all know you around here, so why don't you just introduce yourself to the people who aren't familiar with you? Uh, my name is Wiz Gam. I've been in the business for, whew, I don't want to tell my age, but I've been <laughs> years. Yeah, I'm still active and helping new acts develop and uh, pursue their dreams. I actually have a a, a, um, a course that's about to launch called okay. Academy. It's okay. going to give you tools to help you get to the next level in the music business. Okay. I'm working on that right now. Well, whenever you need me, just let me know. I'll be happy to help get it out there. Yeah, um, like I said, you know, I've, I've worked with almost everybody in the music business. Especially people from Philly. I work with me. I work with you. Name them from Philly. Uh, well, can we just start with? Can we start with ballers? Can we start with that first? Oh yeah, I did. I, uh, I did with <laughs> Ram Squad back in the day. Yes. Yeah. You you know we we were singing that this morning. I was still in the bed and we were singing that on the phone this morning. <laughs> That's how I got hyped for this interview because I was I was listening to it on YouTube. I hadn't heard it in a while. Wow. But, I, yeah, I hadn't heard it in a while. <laughs> that, that, okay, some so. valuable lessons I learned during the <laughs> Well, when we first met, you were working with the show Empire. Yes. And you were current you were um you were being managed by Charlie Mack then, right? Yeah, still currently to this day. Uh Charlie still Oh wow, me. that's good. He still manages me as a uh as a writer and producer. Okay. So you you did write a lot of um, Yes, the Greatest uh, material, right? When he was on Empire? Yes. Okay, okay. That was a, fun, that was a very fun time, too. <laughs> I bet it was. Time. Very fun. Like, was, Every time I turned around, you guys were on the news. Yeah, it was, a, it was to be a part of something that huge, mm -hmm. like none of us knew what that show was going to become or what it did. We none knew, and then when it just took off like it took off, mm -hmm. sheesh, what a ride. Is the show actually airing on Hulu or anything right now? Yes, it's on Hulu. Um, it's, on, it's on a few uh, networks, too. I think it's in, I don't know if it's syndicated yet, but it's syndicated in a few places, but I don't know if it's syndicated that like it's for everywhere, but I know it's on a few places. It's definitely on Hulu, though. I watched a few what? episodes uh, that I liked a few weeks ago on Hulu. Well, you definitely worked with one of my favorites, a little Kim. Yes. Yeah. And then what was that one throw your lights up? Hi. <laughs> sweet girl. <laughs> she's Very so sweet. Girl. Yeah. You're like, she's definitely a favorite. So, yeah. Yeah. She's a good. She's so, a yeah. And, then, and you teamed up with Meek Mills and Gilly the King? Yes. Yeah. We did a record called um, I Get It a while back. Okay. That was on one of my projects. Um, I was around me, like, uh, when, when Charlie Mack had him. Uh, okay. So we, I worked with him a lot, a whole lot. Okay. Yeah. Well, what's going on with Bipolar Media? Uh, it's still rocking. I have it. I'm, I have a... Uh, I did a few, uh, I scored a, I did a movie under it, um, did some music for a movie, the movie Pimp, the Kickstarter, okay. Palmer, DMX. Okay. Some music in there. Uh, 
Uh, I have bipolar media to myself now. Shout out to Rico. Shout out to Darius. They're still my brothers. You know, sometimes in business, business doesn't always work out with uh, your partners. And everybody has their own visions and their own dreams. So that's what that was. I don't, I was telling you before, just briefly, that you literally just popped into my head like two days ago. And I'm like, Nate, like, I need to get in contact with Wiz. So I just I'm, wanted to meet you I'm up to. I'm glad you thought about me. Uh, yeah, yeah, you have, <laughs> of course, like, you're a Philly favorite. Like, of course I was. Yeah, I'm, glad you, I'm glad you thought about me. I'm stepping outside so you're going to hear the wind for a second. <laughs> okay. You're going to win for a second, but. Well, I know you're in motion, but I just yeah. wanted to make sure I reached out and said hello. We will definitely do this again. I'm looking forward to seeing and promoting anything. You know, all you got to do is drop it in my inbox, and yeah. I got you. I have so I have so many different things going on. I also have a new company, uh, Crew. We have a, a headquarters studio in Elkins Park okay. called the Lions Den. Oh, okay. This studio is amazing. We got a swimming pool, a bar. Oh wow! Uh, it's a boutique studio, so I tell people all the time: if you can't afford it, don't ask to come there because <laughs> it's one twenty-five an hour. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, well, one twenty-five an hour. So, do I have an invite to come through, and I can interview you there? Yeah, for sure. You can definitely interview okay. me there. And we are uh, we we have a uh, act. Dom and Jesse, we have Shiva, uh, -huh. uh the Fresh Side Twins. Oh, you know, wow. We, have, we also have uh, this girl from Memphis. So she's not, she's not on yet, but hopefully we'll have her signed to us within the next week or so. Oh, okay. Within the next week or so, we should have her signed. So, yeah, that's going to that's gonna be something great. Well, it's nice to hear that you stay busy because... COVID was like really hard on all of the entertainers. Anybody oh, in the entertainment, yeah. like we suffered just like you know everybody else. Like it was yeah. really hard for us. We were selling out. We were selling out the World Cafe Live. They gave us a residency with all of our acts. So our acts was actually selling that place out. Wow. And once COVID hit, like we had a show about to hit during uh, when COVID first hit, and then when they shut everything down, it was like ah. Oh. I don't know about you, but every like week or every other week, I started to flip out. Yeah. Like, cause 2020 was supposed to be my year, and it just didn't work. And then, you know what? I just eventually said everything happens for a reason, and I just, you know, yeah. we can't do it. Yeah, so it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's like a, a depression thing right now. Like, right. Yeah, because I, I can't front. I found myself being depressed a few days during COVID. Yeah, like, I would have, like, a meltdown, like, every other week. And I had to pull myself back together. Like, it was yeah. really, really hard. But it's like, we find ways to stay busy. Yeah, and I'm always by myself, so. Oh. Always. Okay. Well, I know you got to drive and all, but I will be in touch. I look forward to seeing your new studio and meeting all of your new artists. Thank you so much for Anytime. joining. Anytime. Anytime. Okay, have a good one, Wes. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Bye-bye. <laughs>